All right, on this uh, momentous day for not a number of good reasons, we're joined by Jim Miller, former Saints executive, of course, uh, an established uh, author as well. And Jim, let me get your initial reaction uh, to this severe punishment handed down to the Saints and head coach Sean Payton. Fred, I was shocked. I was totally shocked at the severity of it. Uh, there's, it's unprecedented. You have to go all the way back to, to uh, Alex Karras and Paul Horning in the early 60s uh, to, to even uh, talk about full season suspension. But Commissioner Goodell had a key phrase or a key word in his presentation, and that key word was culture. There's a culture, a rogue culture, that he wanted to get rid of. That's what he saw. And it was like Roselle got rid of a gambling culture 50 years ago. Uh, uh, Goodell saw a rogue culture that he wanted to get rid of now. And that's, I think, uh, part of it as well as the Saints lied. It's Watergate all over again. The Saints lied to him. Uh, they told him uh, whatever they told him, it wasn't the, the full truth. And, you know, in, in retrospect, if you take your um, medicine, you admit you, you made a mistake, you take your medicine and move on. But that's not what they did this time. Well, he has that precedent set with Michael Vick, for example, who lied to him as right. well and got the uh, severest punishment he could hand out. But also, you know, Mickey Loomis. Uh, the team being fine, the loss of draft picks, it's right. devastating. It's devastating. Uh, but I, if you look at money, look at fines, you look at draft choices, things like those, uh, they can be explained, they can be forgotten. The fans will forget those things, but they won't forget their head coach being out for a year, uh, sitting on the, uh, on the side. Uh, you can uh, look at the uh, general manager. You know, that, that brings up uh, even more um, uh, eventualities. What the heck is going to happen now with contracts? Uh, uh, Drew Brees, the, uh, the mindset of Drew Brees is going to be the key here because the, there's just a fine line between the great teams and the teams uh, on the lower, lower rung and uh, the mental mindset, the attitude uh, is, is one of those uh, fine lines. All right, Jim, we're going to uh, pause with that, but we'll come back a little bit later and talk about the long-term implications of what's going on. Jim Miller joining us on the day that the Saints heard their punishment. Rejoined now by uh, Saints uh, former executive Jim Miller, also an established author. Uh, thank you so much. And we're talking about the Saints today, the suspensions that were handed down. We already know what the punishments are, Jim, but let's look down the line. Uh, we still don't know what's going to happen with the players, 22 to 27, who may be facing suspensions or fines as well. Uh, what does this mean long term for the Saints the next two or three years? Well, the draft choices are, are not as significant as, as it could have been. A couple of draft choices, that's not going to hurt them a lot. But it's going, it's going to be the mindset. The free agents want to come here now, knowing that uh, the head coach is, um, is not going to be around. Uh, who's going to do the recruiting of them? Uh, how's that going to enter in, in in future years? If if the Saints are forced to just shut down right now and, and not sign any players, uh, not have the two this year, the, the two next year, uh, that's going to have uh, repercussions if you've got free agents now who are looking at the Saints. Um, what are they going to say? Hey, maybe, I, maybe I'll pull back my Saints uh, interest and sign somewhere else. Uh, the Saints still have holes to fill. They still have uh, uh, unsigned free agents that they've got to sign. And, and can they fill those holes, uh, a.k.a. long-term uh, question marks? Well, the biggest question mark in the room, of course, is Drew Brees. Right. How does this affect his decision-making as he decides to go forward? And what are, what's the team going to do to get him in long-term? Fred, that's the biggest question. That's the $64 question right now. Uh, how does Drew Brees look at this? Uh, he, he's, his relationship with the front office isn't the best right now. Um, you know, he wanted a, a long-term contract. He did not want a franchise tag. He, he, uh, he got one, he didn't get the other. And, and now with his mentor on the sidelines, how is he going to look at this year? If, if he's the, the player and the, and the man he, he, we all think he is, he'll step up, take control, say, okay, this is tough, guys. We're going to get through it. Uh, I'm in control now. He has that ability right now to take charge, be the person in control and, and uh, everybody will rally, rally around him, but he's got to get that contract issue resolved first. All right, Jim Miller, thank you so much for stopping by once again on a, a dark day for the New Orleans Saints. You're right. I'm joined now by Jim Miller, uh, established author, former Saints executive, an executive around the league for many years, Buffalo Bills, other teams, uh, at the collegiate level. Have you ever seen anything like this, Jim? No, Fred, I've never seen anything that, that has such a devastating impact on any athletic organization at all. This, this um, I mean, I'm trying to look at history, trying to look at precedent. E even 50 years ago when, 
when the uh, the players were suspended for gambling, Karras and Horning, mm -hmm. you know, they lost players. That's you might as well lose a player from an injury or something and, and move on. There, there's been no, nothing in the NFL or any league, to my to my recollection, that's that's as devastating as this day with the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees um, is going to be a critical critical factor here with Sean Payton out for the year. Uh, the offensive uh, mind trust of the team. How important is it for the Saints to get Drew Brees resigned? It, it's extremely important. But who signs him now? Mickey Loomis uh, suspension. I'm, uh, it wasn't clear whether it starts now, whether it starts April 1st. Somebody's got to sign him. Go to him and tell him, let's get it done. Uh, the Saints are going to have to bend over, or should bend, bend over a little bit more than they, uh, they wanted to initially. But it's, it's critical that, that he get resigned right now get on board, become the guy that everybody can rally around, and knowing his popularity right now, they can do that. He can be that guy to bring the Saints out of this. He was the guy that brought the Saints back from Katrina. He can be the guy that brings the Saints back from, uh, from Bounty Gate. Final question, Jim. Who is going to be the coach now? Uh, Joe Vitt is suspended. Uh, Sean Payton, of course, is suspended. Uh, is it going to be Steve Spagnuolo? Uh, it, it, Coach Carmichael, who stepped in last year when uh, Coach was injured, how are they going to work that out? April 1st, is, that's all they have until right. Peyton's suspension kicks in. Fred, if you look at the staff, uh, Spagnola's got the uh, experience. He's been a head coach recently. Um, you know, he, uh, he has the, the most experience. Uh, you've got to have a guy in charge. You've got to have a guy. Now, he's got his responsibility on defense. No question, but you've got to have a guy in charge of, of all aspects or at least somebody everybody answers to and makes the final decision, and I think he's the logical guy at this point. All right, Jim Miller, thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate it, my, my friend. My pleasure. All right, and uh, we'll be back after this.